My name's Kat and I'm the children's librarian at the Tewksbury Public Library in Tewksbury, Massachusetts. Welcome to Summer Science. This week we're going to learn all about melting points and make ice cream in a bag. So, how does this work? Well, different liquids freeze at different temperatures. Water, for example, always freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the exact same thing as zero degrees Celsius. It's a different scale, but it's the exact same temperature. And scientists always use Celsius when they're talking about temperature and not Fahrenheit. Salt water freezes at negative 21 degrees Celsius, which is the same as about 28.4 degrees Fahrenheit. And when we put salt on the ice in the bag that we're using, it's gonna make it even colder. And in order for the ice to melt, we have to have it absorb heat from the surroundings, which is going to be the ice cream in the bag, which will make it freeze. It's pretty cool. Let's give it a try. The first thing we need to do is measure out our ingredients. We have half and half here. You could use milk, but it won't come out as creamy. We have one cup of half and half. We're just gonna pour that right into our quart size baggie. We're going to add two tablespoons of sugar. I've already measured that out. And a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're just gonna splash a little bit in there. There we go. We're gonna seal this up, squeeze out as much air as we possibly can without spilling it on the table. Then we're going to place this inside another quart bag just in case of spills. The next thing we do is take our ice. I have a five or six cup here in our gallon size bag and we're gonna have some salt. It doesn't matter what kind you use. We have about half a cup of it. I'm gonna pour that right in. We're gonna add our ice cream mixture. Seal it up tight. Take our pot holders because it's gonna get even colder than ice. And we're gonna shake this for five to 10 minutes. We can check it after five, but it might take 10 to totally freeze. It's been about five minutes and we've taken this out to check. It is getting thicker, but it is not quite done yet. So we're gonna put that back in for another five minutes and we'll see how it is. Okay, it's been 10 minutes and when we open up our bag, we have real ice cream. Now you can add sprinkles, chocolate chips, anything else you'd like to mix in here or you can just eat it right out of the bag as is. Just make sure that you rinse out the outer bag first or else you'll get a real salty mouthful. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you had fun and enjoyed some delicious ice cream with us today. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, here on YouTube, and also on Twitter at Tewksbury Library or Tewksbury L-I-B. Happy experimenting. We will see you next time.